டென்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் ரிவைஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் வீடியோஸ் அடிஷ்னல் கொஷின்ஸ் வித் ஆன்சர் ஜியாகிரஃபி சாப்டர் டென் இண்டியா ஜியாகிரஃபிக்கல் பொசிஷன் அண்ட் ஃபிசிக்கல் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் இண்டியா கேன் பி கால்ட் எ சப் கான்டினென்ட் ஒய் வென் வி அப்சர்வ் ஏ டைவர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்கல் ஃபீச்சர்ஸ் கிளைமேட் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் natural vegetation and people we feel this country can be called a subcontinent explain india's position in the world india is a peninsula located in southeast asia the country is entirely in the northern hemisphere it is wide in the north tapering to form a triangular in the south it is ending in the indian ocean explain the size of india india is 32,87,263 square kilometers in area it is the seventh largest country in the world it occupies about 2.4% of the world's total area there are 28 states and 8 union territories explain the latitudinal position of india india extends from 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute in the north latitude indira point in the great nicobar islands located at 6 degree 45 minute is the southernmost point the tropic of cancer or 23 and half degree north latitude passes through the central part of india explain the longitudinal position of india india extends from 68 degree 7 minute east to 30 97 degree 25 minute east longitude indian standard time is based on 82 and half degree east longitude passing through allahabad indian time is ahead of greenwich mean time by about 5 hours and 30 minutes mention the neighboring countries of india in the northwest afghanistan and pakistan in the north china nepal and bhutan in the east myanmar or burma and bangladesh sri lanka in the south maldives in the southwest mention the physical features of india northern mountains northern great plain peninsular plateau coastal plains mention the three main ranges of northern mountains Siwalik mountains are foothills of Himalaya the Himachal or middle Himalaya the greater Himalayas are Himadri write a note on the Himachal or middle Himalaya there are about 3600 meters they are about 3600 meters to 4500 meters in height They are located between Siwalik and the greater Himalayas. They are about 60 to 80 kilometers in width. They consist of many parallel mountain ranges for example Pir Panjal, Mahabharat range, Nektiba, Masuri etc. Kangren Kulu are the famous valleys. Shimla, Masuri, Nainital, Raniket Chakrata and Darjeeling are the well-known hill stations. Write a note on the greater Himalayas or Himadri. These are known for the highest peaks of the Himalayas and the earlier formed ranges of the Himalayas. This range is completely covered with the snow hence it is called Himadri. This is about 6000 meters to 8000 meters above sea level the highest peak mount everest lies between nepal and tibet other peaks of this range are k 
ಕಾಂಚನ ಜುಂಗಾ ಧವಲ್ಗಿರಿ ನಂದಾದೇವಿ ಗೌರಿಶಂಕರ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಗ್ಲೇಸಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಹಿಮಾಲಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಮಾದ್ರಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಂಗೋತ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿವರ್ ಗಂಗಾ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪಾಸಸ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಟೂರಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಶ್ಮೀರ್ ಬುರ್ಜಿಲ್ ಝೋಜಿಲಾ ಬರ್ಲಾಚಾ write a note on the northern great plain they are also called as satluj ganga plains they are found between the himalayan mountains of the north and the peninsular plateau in the south these plains stretch from the plains of the river indus in the west to the brahmaputra valley in the east this is completely flat the entire plain is formed by the deposition of alluvial soils write a note on the peninsular plateau the peninsular plateau is the largest of all physiographic divisions of india it is a part of the gondwana landmass it stretches from the south of the satluj ganga plains up to the indian ocean it stretches from the aravalli mountains in the north to kanyakumari it extends from the western ghats in the west to the rajmahal hills it is in the formed of it is in the formed in triangular shape it is bounded by the arabian sea in the west bay of bengal in the east and the indian ocean in the south what is the central plateau in the north of peninsula plateau we find mainly the vindhya mountains satpura hills malwa plateau chota nagpur plateau and rivers like narmada tapati and damodar and many small rivers all these are together to the north of narmada referred to as the central plateau the peninsula plateau has great economic significance why it has rich deposits of minerals as the rivers have many form waterfalls the best suited for the production of hydroelectricity mention the differences between the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains western coastal plains it is located between arabian sea and the western ghats eastern coastal plain he is located between the bay of bengal and the eastern ghats it spreads from kutch of gujarat to the cape of kanyakumari it extends from kanyakumari to the gangetic river it is divided into malbar coast kenra coast konkan coast and maharashtra and gujarat coast it is divided into utkal coast and koramandal coast Mumbai, Marmagova, Cochin, Kandla, Karwar and Mangalore are the major ports of this coast. Chennai, Vishakhapatnam, Pardip, Kolkata are the major ports of this coast. This coastline is not very wide and flat. This coastline is very wide and flat. These are the differences between the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains. Write a note on the west coast. it spreads from kutch to the cape of kanyakumari it lies between the arabian sea and the western ghats it is divided into malbar coast kenra coast konkan coast and maharashtra gujarat coast mumbai marmu goa cochin kandla karwar mangalore are the major ports of this coast write a note on the east coast it extends from kanyakumari in the south to the gangetic river in the north it is located between the bay of bengal and the eastern ghats this coastline is very wide and flat it comprises the deltas of mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri rivers 
there are some salty brackish water lakes or lagoons it is divided into utkal coast in the north and koromandel coast in the south write a note on the islands there are totally 247 islands belonging to india of them 204 are in the bay of bengal and 43 are in the arabian sea in the gulf of mannar there are a few coral islands andaman and nicobar islands in the bay of bengal are formed from hard volcanic rocks lakshadweep islands are coral islands indira point is located in the great nicobar island mention the divisions of the west coast malbar coast kendra coast konkan coast maharashtra and gujarat coast what are the major ports of the west coast mumbai marmugowa kochin kandla karwar mangalore what are lagoons give example in the east coast there are some salty brackish water lakes called lagoons chilka lake of varis and pulikat lake of tamil nadu are the important mention the divisions of the east coast utkal coast koramandal coast